106% performance in under one month. This is a performance of super microcomputers. And if you're one of the investors who invested in super microcomputers a year ago, congrats. But the question is whether that AI powering stock is worth that performance or the weather is just a massive hype. That's what we're going to find out in that video. But what does Supermicro do? So what they do is they do everything around service, the hardware for data centers, basically. Um, let, let me just show you that. So here they have these One, OCD things. In the front IO, it can be 400 GIB networking card. So with this 400 GIB card, or yeah, the... check it out, guys. So they build hardware for service. But what's so what's so special about it? What is so special is if you take a look at the fiscal year 2022, here Q4, or in other words, the whole year. Let's take a look. They had revenue of 5.2 billion, which was a 46% year on year growth rate. And they gave a guidance of 6.2 to 7 billion for 2023, which is another massive growth. And that earnings call was in August, as you can see here, 2022. What was in August 2022? Well, not a pleasant time in the market. But if we go to Supermicro, we can see that in general, the last year wasn't that bad. I mean, the stock started at 47 and ended the year at 86. So quite a solid performance for a time where the S&P had, well, let's say not the most pleasant time. And that growth story continues. Why does it continue? Or why is there so much hype? Basically, NVIDIA had these massive, I wouldn't even call it a beat. I mean, they smashed expectations in their earnings call. Market was expecting 7 billion and 11 billion is what NVIDIA said. And I made a video about how expectations shape the market up here. Or sh and that's the issue. If you have low expectations and NVIDIA smashed them, then we have these massive movements. And now the market is believing that due to that whole AI thing, we'll see more demand for super micro products. We'll see more demand for NVIDIA products. I mean, if we take a look at the whole chip sector, I mean, you can go KLA, so the chip machinery companies, massive boost in the market. You go ASML, same story. You go Broadcom, and take a look at that. Let's go back to super micro. So the market is expecting this massive growth in the chip industry. And if we go and take a look at how that played out so far, well, we can see that in Q3, I mean, well, minus 29% quarter on quarter and minus 5% year in year. But that is not important because what we can see here is they still expect Q4 to be quite good and the revenue to be between 6.6 .6 and 6.8 billion, which is 27 or let's make it 28 whatever percent growth year on year at the end of the year which is massive and we're just at the beginning of that whole cloud not cloud but whole ai development now the question is well let me just show you how they make their money um here's by the way that's the geographic split and that is the operating margin around 8% and they have a net cash position. All of these things aren't that important. This is what I want to show you. They are on a path to 10 billion in revenue. And the issue is that thing, that path here is accelerating massively. Um, and what they say is they grow five times faster than the industry. Basically this story of beginning of a massive new movement into AI is what is the talk right now. And that is why that stock had such a massive movement. I mean, if you go and take a look at more financials and then you go on stuff like overview, it's not that expensive, is it? I mean, it's a 
20 price to earnings ratio because if we go to statements and then we take a look at well yeah let's go with that one in the trading 12 months they have 500 almost 600 million as a net income so well not that much i mean it's a massive growth i mean we had a growth from 2021 to 2020 of more than 100 percent now we have another 100 percent let's expect another 100 percent growth so that is solid on the other side we had times where well net income definitely decreased balance sheet as mentioned they oh well now they have a we go yeah now they have a net cash position again um cash flow well they have a free cash flow which is good dividends ain't no paying dividends after we've just discussed the financial numbers let's make a conclusion well first of all the stock does not seem that overpriced with the 20 price to earnings to issue second the stock had a massive movement in the last couple of days don't expect that movement to continue if you haven't invested yet if you want to go for it if you think it's overvalued or the, the whole movement has been too much well you're not the only one i think that's been a solid performance in a month and i would not be surprised if we see let's say a little cool off might it be that the stock continues to rally yes sure but as mentioned i would not be surprised if we see a little cool off if that growth rate continues then we might have a potential for a really impressive performance here. Because that company is worth 11 billion right now. And I would not be surprised if growth continues like that, that we see a 10 beggar in the next 10 years. But even if it's a 10 beggar, guys, after such a performance, it's quite likely, again, and as I mentioned, and I do expect that to happen a little cool off you can all call me names in the comments if it does not happen i don't mind over the long term might be a solid performance i'm not smart i'm not deep enough into the topic of whether they really are the best of the best with their whole data storage stuff i'm fine with my shuffle sellers like lom research isml or klc by the way check out the videos but if you want to invest guys monthly savings plan is always a smart idea and as mentioned it might be beginning of a new bull market in the tech sector and this time i think if the whole ai things plays out as we are set it plays out we we might see a lot of money that is going to be made in the chip industry with that said i hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you think about it. Have you been a part of that massive rally? Yes, no? And check out my new series about how to start investing. And with that said, see you soon, guys. Bye.